Diagnosing a bad wheel bearing doesn't have to be complicated if you know what to look for. Counterintelligence is next. This video is sponsored by BCA Bearings, the number one supplier of OE quality hub assemblies. Visit the BCAHub.com for more information. Hi guys, it's Mark Phillips. In some previous videos, I discussed the fact that problems other than a bad wheel bearing can cause some strange sounds that will alarm a motorist. But how does a technician actually arrive at a bad wheel bearing diagnosis? Some worn wheel bearings can often be detected by rocking a vehicle from side to side at low speeds with the steering wheel. This technique tends to increase the load on the bearings, causing the pitted bearings to become noisier than usual. This test works better when the vehicle is warm and in a parking area or roadway with light traffic. One tool that is helpful in diagnosing wheel bearings is a wired or wireless microphone stethoscope that can be attached to a knuckle. While there are no set specifications for noise or standardized mounting points for the listening device, it can allow someone to compare the bearing on each side. What about when a vehicle is on the lift? To check for play, grab the tire at the 12 and 6 o'clock positions and move it back and forth. As a rule, there should not be play or looseness if the vehicle has sealed bearing cartridges or hubs with sealed bearing assemblies. On older vehicles with serviceable bearings, a little play is normal, but a lot of play is not. As always, refer to the vehicle's service specifications for the maximum amount of acceptable play. The cause of wheel noise doesn't have to be a mystery if you know what to look for. I'm Mark Phillips, and thanks for watching.